Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. I'm back on the early Victor N, 1901, and I made a boo-boo, because when you first look at this gear, it'll look like it's brass, but, what, but in closer examination, I found out it was a fiber gear. And why we want to take it apart and check the gear for cracks, because you don't want to get this whole motor together. And on the 20th crank, you're playing a Berliner record you think is really nice, and this gear lets go because it's fiber. So we need to check everything. And also, you want to take it apart because we're going to flex home the inside of this hole, which the spindle shaft fits into. We want just a real smooth slide on. You don't want, when we're in there putting assembling, you don't want to be going, oh God, I can't get that on the shaft. So we want to make everything a, look, a lot easier. Also, you will flex home this because I've already polished out the spindle shaft and the end tip that's at 60 degrees because that end tip fits in the spring barrel casting system like this and fits in here like that. This is the top of the machine. So that's, this is why we polish everything out for smooth running. So to take this apart, we have to do a few things. This is the bottom, so when it assembles, you'll never see this on the motor. I took my scratch all, and I made one little mark right there, and then I took some gold paint, and I painted the screw in gold, because we're going to reassemble it in reverse, but you, want to, you have to line one screw hole up to put everything back where it was. You have to put the gear back in the same position. And that's why we do this. And this is where the fun begins. So we will take it apart gently. And you don't want to force anything on these. And this should be the gold one. And we will set this one over there because we know that's the gold. There we go. Now we take it apart. And we see nothing's broken. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. But I am gonna clean off this little bit. See, we have a little bit of rust under here now. This, these are things you're looking for. We have rust on this piece, so I have to soak this in vinegar, the white vinegar to get rid of this rust. And then I'm going to clean this fiber gear. Well, because the gear is oiled, I'm going to clean the gear with oil. So what I do is I use a little bit of super lube oil. And work it gently in here. And we're going to have to look for rust marks. And now, the other thing is, we need to clean the inside of the teeth out. I've talked about that. Harbor Freight sells these detail brush sets. You get a brass one, a steel, stainless steel one, and you get a little bristle brush like this, which is soft. And you're gonna come in here like this. Now, is that just a bristle brush? Just a bristle brush. This is nylon. Okay, so you could use an old toothbrush? You could use an old toothbrush. Then when we flex hone, we're gonna to have to wipe everything off to keep the grit of the flex hone out of the gear. And after we reassembly, we know. We know now that taking this apart was a good idea because, oh look, we have rust. 
uh, now we have to stop the rust. Because if you just throw it back in the motor, most people say, oh, just put it back in the motor. 20 years down the road, 30 years down the road, this will really eat all the way through your, your plate. And you won't be happy. And that's my tip for the day.